Uh, hi, this is Joe again with another movie review. <coughs> Excuse me. And this time, since, since the day during the show is December 6th, and tomorrow is December 7th, I figured do a review of the movie. Even though I don't like more, more movies that much, I'm going to be doing a review on the movie. <coughs> Excuse me. That's based on the uh, Pearl Harbor, the attack of Pearl Harbor. And that is Tor, Tor, Tor. Uh, the, the attack is part of the attack of Pearl Harbor. And of course, if you know Ray that got a title, Tor, 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 that is the code word the Japanese used for attack. That's the, that's the, uh, their attack code was Tor, Tor, Tor. That's the name for the attack. Uh, you know, to start the attack. <coughs> Excuse me. I just came over a cold. That's why I'm coughing. And th what's interesting about this movie, even though this is this movie came out I think in 1971 or 72, and this is was at the tail end of all those war move World War Two movies that came out during the 50s and the 1960s, and Hollywood was just saturated with war movies and this is really at the end of the the quote unquote golden age of the war movie but this one tells not only does it tell the American side of the attack but also has the Japanese side so they had two separate uh, productions the Japanese production and the American production and they added both sides together into this movie <coughs> excuse me again and they did a very good job on this film. And we don't, like I said, I'm not a war movie fan. I do watch Civil War films, but until the World War Two movies, I avoid. But the first time I saw this mov movie was when I was in junior high school. My history teacher had, this is how long ago this was. It was on a film strip. It was old fashioned film strips. And now we have, uh, by the time we got out of junior high school, and into high school, we, video tapes were coming out, and now we have DVDs and Blu-rays. So that's how we got this on on the DVD, and you can say this was a very very good film because it shows both sides. There's very few uh, war movies that show both sides. The only other one that I could think of, a theatrical movie that showed both sides. You know, in a war film, was Gettysburg. You know, that was produced by Ted Turner because the those are coming out of money. Anyway, <coughs> excuse me, but, but this one, they didn't run out of money because they didn't, they didn't have their own separate productions and they had their own separate uh, budgets. So so they got it done and they had the great actors that E.G. Marshall, they had Warren Blossom, they had. Oh, I forgot who else was in on the American side. Uh, but, you know, like I said, it, did, it does show Pearl Harbor, it does show the attack, and, and they, they do use the old footage of the, uh, when the Amazon exploded. They did use some of the old, fo old footage of the attack. Uh, same thing with the movie Korean to Eternity. They also used the actual film footage of the Pearl Harbor attack sequence. But here they show the whole film, the set for. <coughs> Excuse me. And then they had the whole film sequence to it, which is, like I said, it's a very, very good film. It also has a very good documentary one, and the audio commentary is also a uh, very good one. So if you ever catch this movie, especially tomorrow, on the day I'm doing this, it's the day before the anniversary of the attack. The 70. Two years now since the attack. So, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, if you want, really want to see this film, please get a chance to see this movie. And I'm doing a short, very very short video on. But you know, when if you do happen to catch this movie, please do so because it's we're sitting there for two and a half hours. I think it's about yeah, I think it's about like two and a, two and a half hour. Actually, two two hour twenty five minute movie, 
It's probably worth seeing it for that long because it's worth the um, it's worth the money to rent from Netflix or to actually buy the DVD of it. Is that is that is that good? Let me review for a tour tour tour. Uh, please like the video. Uh, you know, subscribe to my page. Make any all the comments, positive or negative. Uh, can I catch you next time?